Hey guys, Alex here coming at you from Southern California on a cool winter evening. Um, I just saw a video that uh, Carm over at uh, Gorbo31 uh, just put up about uh, album back covers, which I thought was uh, kind of interesting. And uh, seeing as I have a few hundred records that are unfiled just sitting around, I just kind of Randomly grab some cool ones that I found sitting around. Um, <clears throat> before I get to those, uh, this is what's playing in the background. Fantastic. Hero Sanders record on Strata East. Um, it's number two in the Dolphy series. Uh, Zipo, Sam, my gifts. Um, great lineup with. Uh, Tony Fortune, Billy Hart, Cecil McBee, Howard Johnson on tuba, which is really a uh, great uh, player. Uh, Ferro Sanders, of course, on sax. Majid Shabazz on drums, and uh, the great Sonny Chirac, who steals the second side for me on this one. Um, so I think I mentioned you know, that I uh, started collecting uh, cassettes last year. Well. I decided to to trade in uh, a bunch of my tapes to a friend of mine who is a big uh, cassette collector, um, and uh, this is what uh, what I got in return. So really really happy with with the trade, and uh, I think I'm gonna stick to my lane and, and uh, just continue with the records. Um, some great cassettes out there, but uh, it's just it's when you can play. They're not. It's not a, a it's not a very fun format, or at least not as, uh, for me anyway, so I know everybody's a little bit different, but yeah, really happy to, to have um, this great record in the collection. All right, so, so the thread that Carmen started was about great uh, 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 cover art uh, on the backside of records um <clears throat> this is one that i had uh, purchased from uh stunty a few months ago uh, it's whale scapes very cool um experimental record and this is the back cover it's a beautiful beautiful design with with the, uh, the whale on the back and then all the musicians <clears throat> musicians here Really great one. So, whale scapes, um, interspecies, uh, interspecies music volume one. I haven't looked, I don't know what uh, what other volumes there are, but yeah, really cool. Uh, it's very wonderful record there. Uh, another great one. Uh, so, this is a uh, country moon by uh, Harami Hosono. Beautiful back cover. So, you know, this was recorded. And there's a really cool picture on the insert as well. <clears throat> but basically, uh, they took a trip, uh, the, the musicians, to, um, I believe, uh, India. There's guys there. And presumably this is the, the hotel that they stayed at, the uh, Hotel Malabar. And you can kind of see that the hotel is sort of consumed by the jungle there. I just <clears throat> love that photo. Hiromi Hosono. Uh, great uh, Michael White record. Um, this is uh, Spirit Dance from 70, 72. Uh, great photo on the front, and maybe even better one on the back here in this kind of back porch um, or back balcony of his apartment, um, holding his violin. Just, I don't know, just a real kind of honesty to his expression and just the, the photograph in general. Really, really great image there. Michael White. Um, um, by the way, that one features a track. Uh, John Coltrane was here, which I'll definitely get to in my Coltrane series at some point. Uh, 
So this is uh, uh, Na Naila Hunter. She's a local artist here from LA. Uh, this was released last year on cassette only, and then they just did the, the vinyl issue uh, fairly recently. Uh, beautiful front cover. She plays the harp. Um, yeah, just kind of really uh, you know, spiritual, uh, atmospheric music. Um, <clears throat> the uh, album is called Spells, and so the back cover has this really cool photograph of, you know, that's presumably her hand, and she's, uh, looks like there's something burning in the background, and she's, like, kind of making a potion there or something. Really cool photograph. Uh, Nelia Hunter spells, definitely check it out. If any of that art looks cool, definitely worth checking out. It should be pretty easy to get. Um, this one that I have wanted for quite a while, I recently finally picked it up. And, uh, it's his Deuter's uh, debut album on uh, the uh, Kuk -Kuk, German Kuk -Kuk label. Uh, great cover shot there with, you see, like, his turntable and his amplifier. The background, some records, and then the back cover is another shot there in his uh, in his apartment with some instruments, and again you see some of the records and the instruments, and you know you can almost uh, you know, smell the inside of that apartment with uh, you know, maybe some pot burning, maybe some incense going on. Great back cover there. Daughter, Kyle, I'm sure. In fact, then I know you've shown that before. Um, <clears throat> another great German one, uh, of course, Faust. Um, is the, yeah, the Faust tapes. Yeah, maybe 1972 or something like that. Sorry. Uh, kind of a classic optical illusion back cover there. Neat. Um, all right, I'm going to take the OB off of this one, so we can see the art. Uh, another kind of fairly recent acquisition. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky to Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, this is not good. Uh, Anyway, this is um, uh, Masahiko uh, Togashi, Charlie Hayden, and uh, Don Cherry. Um, had to move the OB to show you the back. Uh, the front here is, is uh, uh, Togashi. Uh, he's a uh, Japanese uh, percussionist and drummer. And a fantastic uh, back cover here with uh, Togashi, Hayden, and uh, the the great Don Cherry, always looking uh, amazingly dapper in, in any outfit. Um, but yeah, Togashi is, uh, as you can see, wheelchair bound, uh, but yeah, an incredible um, percussionist and drummer. This is a really, really awesome record. It's, uh, you know, obviously not, not an easy one to find in the U.S., but uh, relatively uh, affordable, you know, given that it's... Um, you know, a Japanese import and a fantastic, really, really, really good record. Um, yeah, trio, fantastic. Uh, here's a uh, more recent records from 1999. Smog, uh, Bill Callahan's uh, project is from uh, 1999. Album is Knock Knock. Um, Pretty striking, kind of uh, surreal front cover there. I love that cover as well. And then uh, I think just one, one or two of the tracks feature the children's choir. And that's the that's the back cover. It's the children um, in the studio there. I like that photograph there. Uh, fantastic uh, record from uh, uh, Frederick Krzyzewski. <coughs> this is uh, Attica coming together. Uh, 
les moutons de Banjou. Um, of course, great uh, typography here, minimal front, <clears throat> and on the back is this really amazing uh, uh, you know, geometric pattern for two two colors, and it's kind of the text overlaid over the top. It's on the uh, Opus One label, which I think this is the only one I have on the label, but yeah, I really want to pick up a lot more on this label. Uh, just an incredible, um, incredible record. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's jazz influenced, it's got jazz elements, but uh, yeah, the title track uh, for uh, I don't know, I don't know, I guess the, the highlight track is maybe uh, Attica, which features uh, <coughs> Carl uh, Berger on, on vibes, uh, the great Alvin Curran on uh, piccolo trumpet, John Gibson, who passed away last year, on alto sax, uh, Rzeski uh, on piano, uh, Richard Youngstein on bass. Fantastic. Uh, I know Stunty played uh, something from this. I think he might play that one. So yeah, beautiful background on that. And we'll finish with some great uh, jazz rock fusion. This is the uh, Association PC. Um, another fantastic front cover. is an uh, MPS from like uh, maybe 1973 or so. And then it's got a great back cover with the band sitting on some uh, scaffolding, and yeah, it doesn't get more more uh, kind of European than that. Um, I wonder if it says where that picture was taken here. Not sure. Could be at the uh, University of Freiburg, where where, the, where this was recorded. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Right back over there. Anyway, hope everybody is well, and uh, yeah, talk to you guys soon. Take care.